Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green. Couple things I'm going to say before I get started today. When I'm doing um, a reading, I always ask people, "What, what do you want? Give, give me your question and or connection to the other side. Who do you want to connect with?" And you, if you um, give me that, I will give you the information that comes through on that. Now, if other information comes through, <clears throat> there's nothing I can do about that. Okay, that is just, it is what it is. If a message comes through, it's something that those on the other side think that for whatever reason, you need to know. You, you need to have this information. Um, so please understand as much as <clears throat> you may be on the phone and you may or or in a session or or on the show and you want to hear something very specific well be very specific in your question first of all and second um they're going to tell you sometimes what you need not what you want believe me like when my mom connects with me it's just like she's still here i don't get what i want i get what she wants to tell me sorry mama <laughs> Sorry, mama. <laughs> I'm joking. My, my mom is, you know, she's good. <laughs> she's, she she appreci appreciates my sense of humor. <laughs> no, she does not. <laughs> you guys can't see the look she's giving me right now. <laughs> Even though she's in heaven, I feel like a little kid, like she's going to, like, <laughs> okay, we're just going to move on. And you guys, I figured out who Marjorie is. I, I'm pretty positive it was my grandma. <laughs> my grandparents passed when I was very, very young, and my parents never talked about my grandparents. So the woman who kept yelling, or I kept hearing Marjorie for like two or three shows in a row. Hey, Grandma, what's happening? <laughs> what's up, Granny? Oh, she does not like that either. <laughs> Boy, I am not doing well with my ancestors today. <laughs> I told you I'm going to be laughing through most of the show. Okay, here we go. We're going to move on to... Um, <clears throat> Thank you, Sal, so much for, for your kind words. Um, you guys that are watching on TV or listening on the podcast, if you want to join us live on YouTube, um, <clears throat> you can do that every Monday and Wednesday at noon central time. And you can join the chat. So when I'm responding to people on the chat, um, I, that is like Sal is on the chat. Genevieve. Hey, Genevieve Vaughn. Hey, Kathy got to join us live today. Kathy, so happy you're here with us along with Caroline. Love you, Caroline. Um, and of course, Sal is here. Heather's here. And I'm sure there are a number of other people. If you're watching the show, say hello. Say hi to me. Join the chat. Um, if you want a clearing or you have a quick question, I will try to get to it in the um, chat. Um, what else? What else? What else? Do, do you guys want some universal messages? Prediction messages? Would you like that? Huh? 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 Would you? Um, I, hey, Amy. Amy says yes. Caroline says, I love you too, Caroline. Amy says yes. She would like some. Um, Caroline says yes. Okay, we're going to go with some universal predictions um, right now. Uh, universal clearings and messages. Thanks, Vaughn and Heather say yes. Okay, here we go, folks. These are predictions of what's coming in over the next period of time. Now, some of my predictions, it, it they come in right away, but some of them can take up to a year or two years to come in, and this is to prepare you. So some of the messages that come through, like when I was saying they, uh, a couple – like, I don't know how long ago, because when I channel, I don't, I, I'm really bad at tracking time, first of all. 
Um, okay, here we go. So I did give a prediction in the past that we were going to have like a lot of tsunamis and water stuff coming in. And that was that was quite a bit of time ago. I know some of my people remember that they let me know and look at what's going on right now. Um, I am going to tell you some predictions and I'm going to give some advice. You guys are free to do what you want. Believe what you want. The first and foremost, what I'm getting is um, the song All We Are asking is give peace a chance okay i might have those those first three words a little bit wrong but give peace a chance what they're asking right now who here we go here we go what they're asking right now is that everybody stay collectively and individually in that space of peace use your manifesting or your imagination to create that space of peace remember this is a creating planet and we create with our thoughts and our mind therefore what we think is what we create therefore what we bring into our existence is what we bring into our world stay away from uh what propaganda that will have you thinking or uh yeah thinking in a negative or a poor way a way that is not peaceful As we move forward, it is imperative that you have your own thoughts, that you have your own manifestations or your own projections of what you want in this world. Stay in that space that everything is going to work out. It's going to be okay. Whatever you do, privately or collectively, stay at peace. Stay united. Do not divide. Do not Hmm. Do not take up arms. Um, and I know why they're saying that. There's a belief that the moment we go into civil unrest, they're going to bring in the UN, and then that will be the beginning of the end. So don't stay at peace, stay collected. We, the people, need to stay. We, the people, okay? Um, Okay, <clears throat> let's go to a different subject. What do we need to to know? Give me a subject, somebody. Give me a subject you want me to. What's our purpose? Okay, thank you. Somebody wants to know what's our purpose. Love. There we go. Creation and love. We are here to create, co-create an existence that is of love. And I know that most of you are thinking that's so... You know, that's just so, oh, love, love and peace. We're not in the 60s. <laughs> kind of wish we were in a way, right? Um, but no, our purpose is self-love. Okay, so if we are in a state of self-love, if we are in that space where we unconditionally love ourselves, if we are in that space where we are collectively in love with ourselves and we are in that space of being love, it will change the dynamic of this planet. This doesn't mean letting people walk on you because if you are in a state of self-love, unconditional self-love, you have very healthy boundaries and can lovingly stop anybody from using, abusing you, walking over you. Most of you do not want to be in that place of unconditional love because you are afraid you will be used and abused, but it's actually quite the opposite. Once you're in that place of unconditional self-love, you stop using and abusing and you stop being used and abused. Um, okay. Let's do a clearing for unconditional self-love. Here we go, everybody. Uh, we love ourselves unconditionally. I'm getting a no. Let's clear that. We Oh, here's a good one. Uh, we like ourselves. I get a no. Let's clear that. And for whoever that's for, that's, that's for whoever it's for. It will just make it stronger if you already have it. Um... 
Yeah, self like and Sal. That's so funny, Sal. I just did self like. So here we go. We like ourselves. I again. I get a no. Let's let's clear that. Um, and that is true, right? Right, guys. Like like guys. I'm gonna get to callers. Please please hold on. All my callers, I love you so much. Please, I'm gonna get to you, and I'm gonna get to as many of you as I can. But here's the thing. Um, we do have a lot of difficulty liking ourselves, right? We do make those continual statements all day, like, you're so stupid. How could you do that? Why did you think that? Why did you say that? Those are all things that show that we have a level of discontent within ourselves. So I'm going to go one step further, and I'm going to do a healing and a clearing on all that has caused us to dislike ourselves has cleared and healed. I get a no, we're going to clear that. All that has caused us, uh, or all that is uh, stopping or blocking unconditional love has cleared and healed. I get a no, so let's clear and heal that. Now, uh, people want to know, like, why, you know, why do you come on here and you do this for free? You could have, I, you know, I do really well with my sessions. I'm I get a lot of clients. Those people who are supposed to come to me for sessions do. Um, I do sessions that are just clearings or healings. If somebody wants to get everything cleared away that they want to get cleared away or healed that they want to get healed, whether that's abundance or whatever. The, the reason I do so much of this online is because for every single person that heals any area of their life, by proxy, or I guess by proxy, anybody they come into contact with will feel that healing in their energy. And it will be a minimum of 10 people that they then will affect with their healing. And I do believe that if we can get to a space where we are healed ourselves, if enough of us heal ourselves, it's like the hundredth monkey effect, okay? Um, and for those of you who know what the hundredth monkey is, if you teach 99 monkeys something, that, and by the time the hundredth monkey gets it, they all know it. So... If we can get to the hundredth monkey effect, if we, if enough of us just heal ourselves, don't worry about what's going on with Fred and Jim and Bill and Betty and Karen and Bob. Sorry, I had so many men names. That that's just <laughs> what was coming out. Um, if we just work on ourselves, Every single person that we come into contact with will be affected by that healing that we have done because we are energetic beings. So if our energy is healed, anybody in our energy, there's an energy exchange and they will get that healed energy also. Okay, so it might not completely heal them, but it will heal them a bit, at least a little bit. And it's really super important and not even for other people just for ourselves to have a whole complete life that we were sent here to have we were sent here to have an amazing life where we create everything that we want everything that is possible and in order to do that we're supposed to be in a healed state um, that's why on TikTok. I put out healing after healing after healing after healing. I want us all to have the most amazing, beautiful, prosperous, abundant life, whatever that looks like for you, no matter what that is. Okay. So I'm going to go to callers now. Stevie, are you ready? Here we go. Um, it's so funny, you guys. Stevie calls me after every show and he starts uh, telling me uh, the things that I talked about on the show and how uh, it's he just cracks up the whole time. So I'm going to start including him throughout the show because it just brings so much joy to his life. And I want him to have that. So here we go. 631, what's your name and where are you calling from? <clears throat> 
Oh, hi. My name is uh, Rose. I'm calling from New York. Okay, Rose, how can I help you today? Oh, I was wondering if you, um, if we could have a message from my mother. Okay, what's your mom's first name? Uh, Francis. Okay, Francis. <laughs> yeah. Oh, She's here. She's here. She she just popped in, right? Like she was here and then she popped here. She's like, I want to say, I don't know how she was when she was here, but she's like the energizer bunny. She's not like floating and she's happy in. Um, she's a little feisty. I'm going to say, I don't, again, I feel like the energy carries and I feel like she's a little feisty. She was probably spicy. She likes the word spicy. She's a little spicy. Um, and the first thing that she wants to say to you um, is that uh, you need to, um, and I, you know what? I, it's so funny when a message is from our loved ones a start out, you need to, because <laughs> isn't that, isn't that just right, how right, our parents, like <laughs> they would always be like, well, what you right. need to do, you need to do this. And I always right, am right. like, Oh my God, I'm not the boss of them. I don't want them to think I'm trying to be like, you need to, but it is your, it, it is her. So the first thing she's saying, I don't know what you called your grandmothers, but the first thing I'm hearing is Nona, Nona, Nona. And I think that is what some people called their like grandparents, whatever. But even if it's not, she's here. And I see another woman here who is a, a little bit um, a fuller of a figure and this other woman I feel like is either, a, 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 I'm going to feel like, I feel like it's probably a grandmother so that they're here. And it could be though um, an aunt also, but let's just get to the message for you. So the first thing she wants to say is you need to get on the move. You need to get going. There's something in your life you've been very stagnant about. Now I'm hearing two things right off the jump, right from the get. I'm hearing money and love, money and love, money and love. Um, so I don't know if those two things go together or if that is, uh, like, I don't know if you have a love that doesn't have money. I don't know. <laughs> Haven't gone deep enough in. I'm not digging right now. I'm not like, who does she have a broke ass? Oh, sorry. Don't mean to swear on TV. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> does she have a broke a boy? <laughs> doesn't matter. Cause sometimes we love those broke boys, right? They're broken, they're broke, and we're like, oh, give me more. Please don't leave me. I think what she means, you know, I think she means for me to have my own money and a new love. That's what she probably, that's what she means. <laughs> yes, I'm guessing. So what she wants to say to you, okay, so, so she, there's a song coming in, do you remember? And then I hear, in September, do you remember? And I don't know if um, if these are two different songs, but what I'm hearing is, do you remember? And then I'm hearing in September. September is going to be a really, really big, big um, month for you, which, by the way, September is right around the corner, folks. Here we grow again. Here we grow again. Uh, right, right. September is going to bring in his they're saying historical changes in general but for, for you it's going to be very monumental there are big changes coming in in september there are really just big changes like life changing things coming in in september and since she was saying money and love i feel like it's in both of those areas i do feel like you are okay. going to have some yeah, there's some luck. We can call it luck, but we can just call it timing. Also, there's something coming in that's going to change your status. Something's coming in that's going to change your status. And when this happens, everything is going to open up for you. It's going to like, like I see like, um, like if you have a, 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 a dam, a, a, a water. Place, and then on one side it's completely dry like a desert and then on the other side there's all this like water and they're showing me the floodgates are opening and they just open like 
like they just open and all this water like pushes through and like the drought is over the drought is over so that's what they're saying for you the drought is over make sure that you are you you get in that water and you swim in the water don't don't like don't just put your toes in go head first in and do okay. this ah <sighs> okay and then of course okay. she wants to say she loves All you right. and um and i what i i'm seeing this like um and again i hope this is i hope this is the right i don't know if this is going to make sense to you but it looks like a biscotti to me a bis a bis i don't know if that makes sense to you for her or your grandmother or whomever but it look at now just because right. it looks like a biscotti it doesn't mean it is a biscotti because a lot of foods look right. the same but it looks right. like a, a biscuit or a biscotti right. something like that so okay all uh, right okay yeah, i think i know what that means okay i hope this was helpful all right. well thank you very much absolutely yes, my it has very much i appreciate it excellent and excellent. have a wonderful day thank you you too thank you so much <laughs> and i like how you were laughing all over the place that was good. I was laughing when you were laughing. It was funny. <laughs> you were in a laughing mood. You got to keep laughing, that's for sure. <laughs> thank, thank you so All right. much. Thank, thank you. Thank you. You All are right. welcome. Have an Bye. amazing day. Thank you so much for calling in. I'm going to go yes, direct. Sir. I'm going to go directly um, to the next caller, who is 814. 814. How, what's your name and where are you calling from? Um, Hi, this is Amy, and I'm calling from Pennsylvania. Okay, Amy, how can I help you today? I have a job interview on Friday, and I was calling to see how you feel that would go. I am interviewing from my boss's job. Okay, I I get that the the interview is going to go well. And I get that there's a little bit more and I don't like to use this word but there there are more people, okay, they were using the word competition, but I'm going to say there are more people interviewing for this p position than you are aware of. It's like it's it's a little bit competitive at this point. So instead of asking if you're going to get this position, I'm going to ask a different question, if that's okay with you. What I want to ask is, is this a good position for you to um, have? Is this, will you fit this position really well? Will it be a, a good fit for you? And I get a, uh, yeah, it'll be very stressful for you. If you get this position, there will be a bit of stress with that. Um, and there might be like a, a complication with it. But they are also saying it's nothing that you can't handle. You'll do very well. You're just going to have to learn to manage the stress. Now, if I ask, is she going to get the position? Is she going to be hired into her boss's position? Okay, there's a really good chance you're going to be, but they really want you to consider all it entails if you take this position, okay? They just want you to be aware of everything that goes with it. Does that make sense to you? It does. Good. They say if you're taking this, go in eyes wide open and be aware of all of the expectations and demands that they're going to have for you but be aware you can handle it you know you that's not the question you can handle this make sure that you want to just okay so i hope i want you to take i not not what I'm going to say is I want you to don't back down because of what's being said here. You can move full steam ahead, but have healthy boundaries 
and be aware of what you're taking on um, and that that's what you want. But it doesn't mean back down and don't go for it. On the contrary, it means just know what you're getting yourself into and run with it. Okay, love? Okay, because I know nobody else internally put in for it here. But I do they, know that. Yeah, that they might have had to run an external, um, like an external listing. And there may be people from that external listing that they are also interviewing um, I do feel like you do have a really good chance at getting this. The interview is going to go very, very well. And I would say it's going to go extremely well based on the fact that they want you to um, be in that space of um, making sure you want it if you get it. it that, would t that there would tell me there's a really good chance they're going to offer this position to you. So I would say yes, um, yes, be very aware of all it entails and then run with it, okay? That doesn't mean back down, that just means okay. don't go, again, they're saying go in with your eyes wide open, knowing exactly what this is, how it is, and what's going to, what's going to be expected of you, okay? Okay. Excellent. Excellent. And, and con uh, I was going to say congratulations, but I was going to say good luck. <laughs> Somebody up there is already congratulating you. Good luck on your, um, good luck on your interview on Friday. Okay, love. Thank you. I want to thank everybody for joining in, calling in, listening in. I love each and every one of you. I'm going to be back Wednesday for 30 minutes or 60 minutes. I'm sorry. But what do they know that I don't? I'm going to try. I'm, I, it's always my intention to do 60 minutes. Um, until then, have an absolutely fabulous week. And please remember you are loved.